Hey guys, I'm Dan and welcome to another video. Okay, so today we'll be taking a look at some new Takara Tomi animals and insects and also dinosaurs. Okay, so let's begin. The first one right here, I think is an armadillo. Looks really cute. So let's open this and have a look together. Okay, I'm gonna cut the box open. Just give me a second. Right, so we have an armadillo right here and it comes with two collector's card. I'm gonna put them right here. Okay, let's have a look. So it's a very cute and adorable armadillo. You can actually, you know, move the head, the body as well. Such an adorable one. Let's take a look at some facts. Brazilian three banded armadillos are covered in a sheet of bones and resemble scales. They protect themselves during attacks by rolling into a ball. Only Brazilian three banded armadillos can turn into a complete ball. So like this. Very nice. So it basically protects itself by rolling into a ball. Awesome. Now let's move on to this one, which is a peregrine falcon. So let me just cut this open. Right. Comes with two collectors card as well. For this one, we have to assemble it, I suppose. Just pop this onto the little branch. And this is our peregrine falcon. Very nice. You can actually move the head as well. Let's read some facts. Peregrine falcons can dive from the skies and pick down any other flying birds. They dive faster than any other bird, surpassing speeds of 300 km per hour. Wow, that's really fast. Also, they make nests on cliff walls at the beach and other such locations. Okay, the English sounds a little bit weird, but you get the idea. Alright, next up, let's um, have a look at this beetle right here. So, let's have a look. Okay, so what kind of beetle is this? Five horned beetle. Okay, we have to open this. Five horned beetle comes with a movable horn. Very nice. Check this out. Males have five horns in total on their heads and thorax and often fly towards the light at night. They gather around bamboo sap and fully grown adults are found during the months of September and October. Beautiful. I'll put this one right here. Okay, let's have a look at a dinosaur, okay? How about this one? It's a Pachycephalosaurus. So let me open the box. Close it back. This is a new figure. Pachycephalosaurus. Looks really nice. And here are some facts about it. The skulls are lined with buns and spikes made of bone, and the thick bone on top of the head bulges out. Their mouths are lined with small teeth that are sharp and jagged, which also used to tear apart leaves or eating. Very nice. That's Pachycephalosaurus for you. Alright, now let's move on to this beetle right here, which is a... We'll have a look at, at the name later on. Okay, so this is a sacked beetle. Let's um, open this. Give me a 
second. This is a stacked beetle. A nice one. So it comes with a movable head and a two horns in front can move. Very nice. Okay, next up, let's open this beetle. This one seems to be a rainbow stacked beetle. So let's have a look at this. It actually looks really colorful. Just give me a second. So this is a rainbow stack beetle. Comes with some facts. Rainbow stack beetles are the largest kind of stack beetle in Australia and have a metallic shine. They have small heads and their mandibles bend upwards. When they emerge from the pubar state, the curved mandible straightens out. Beautiful. Stack beetle. Okay, next up, let's have a look at this Ankylosaurus. Just give me a second. Okay. And Kylosaurus. Although he has a sturdy back, his belly is his weak spot. Anyone gets under his legs where he can see he gets flustered. Yeah, this is basically his character. So this is an Ankylosaurus. Looks really nice. Comes with two ball joints right here. Okay. Now let's move on to another beetle. Seems to be a different beetle. Okay, this is actually a Hercules beetle. Different from all the beetles that we have seen just now. Hercules Beetle Beautiful Okay, he may be a type of rhinoceros beetle but he attacks by gripping his horns like a stack beetle What's more, he can adjust his grip by feeling the hairs on his horns Very nice So we have a couple of beetles right here Now we move on to the next figure which is a dinosaur Okay, this is actually known as a Therizinosaurus. Okay, Therizinosaurus. Check this out. So it's like a bird. Oh, it's actually a freak Fuqui Venator. It's not a Therizinosaurus, but it definitely looks like a Therizinosaurus from the same family as a pose. Really beautiful figure. Can move um, the neck. The arms can be moved. Okay, Fukuraptor is a small theropod thought to be one of the most primitive therizinosaurs. It resembles herbivorous dinosaurs in a small head and long neck, but its claws are sharply developed as you know as those of a carnivorous dinosaur. Okay, so it might be an omnivorous dinosaur. Okay, our last figure of the day is this Tyrannodon. So let me just open this. Okay, Tyrannodon right here. When they spread their wings, they reach 9 meters, their bodies may be big but their bones are light, which is why they can fly in the sky. Very very beautiful. Okay, so yep, we've got an armadillo today, we've got a peregrine falcon, we've got a pachycephalosaurus, we've got an ankylosaurus, we've got a five-horned beetle, 
we have a Hercules beetle, okay, Hercules beetle, and this is a stack beetle, and this is a rainbow stack beetle. So yeah, thanks for watching this guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this, and I'll see you guys in the next video, goodbye.